the pegs. Yeah, uh, on the nets. My, my theory is I have nothing to do with the net other than score goals. Oh, so, all right, okay. So all right. I, I won't touch the net. We'll see that today. I won't touch we'll the see net. that today. How often do you get a new glove and new block? I gotta pay for it uh, after probably one year. Yeah, but. Oh, really? Yeah. So after every year you get like a new one? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, How much does that cost? I don't know. Like 500? Really? For the glove and blocker? Or for both like 250 I mean, for each or what? I mean, I got 450 for the blocker. And like maybe a 500 for the gloves. Something like that. It's pretty expensive, dude. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, I know. The Junior Blues were prepared for another tough battle against the Peoria Mustangs to close out their homestand last weekend. On Saturday night, the team got on the board first early on a goal from Will Beginski. Blood away, they score! Will Beginski! Look at the snap on that stick. He got that thing curled like a whip. 24 seconds in, the St. Louis Junior Blues lead. The score is 1-0. A few minutes later, the Mustangs got the goal back to even up the score once again. Nearing the midway point of the first period, St. Louis would regain the lead on a shot off the goal post from Matt Monreal, giving the Junior Blues a 2-1 lead that would hold up through the rest of the period. Intercepted by Urisic coming in off the bench to Monreal on the first side off the post and in! Matt Monreal! Gets the Junior Blues the lead. And now I got the kiss of the post and the kind bounce. St. Louis never looked back, getting goals from Joe Papa and Jake Wetopped in the second to double their lead. And another quick goal in the third period from Zach Wilson, capping a 5 1 victory to open the series. Papa's able to thread the needle. Papa shot, he scores! Joe Papa! Lovely little shot. Shot saved and rebound, they score, Jake Wetop. It's a power play goal for the Junior Blues. They lead it now 4-1. So face off one back by St. Louis is Bacardi gets it over to a wide open. Mazzillo, it's tipped on goal and Zach Wilson's gonna get the credit for that one. 5-1 St. Louis. And you can put it on the board, yes. The Junior Blues win 5-1 as they outshoot the Mustangs 48-18 overall. The second game of the weekend saw goaltender Jack Regan get his first start in the Junior Blues net. Regan and the Junior Blues would be tested early in the game by a strong first period push by the Mustangs. Finley, shot was tipped wide by Juricic, loose puck in front, Juricic clears the danger, oh what a save, full extension, a great glove save by Jack Regan. McCarty puts his man to the boards, hey, oh fire, save made again, another good save by Regan. Matthew Monreal broke the ice in the second period, scoring on a breakaway goal to give the Junior Blues a 1-0 lead. Neither team has scored thus far today. Here with the uh, Monreal's in the clear, great pass for Henny scores! Couldn't tell who gave that to Matt Monreal, but he found him and he split the defense. And with 11.53 to go in the second, the first goal of the game for either team comes from Matt Monreal. Sean Hofstetter added to the lead a minute and a half into the third period which would be the eventual game-winning goal for St. Louis. So the face-off all the way back down in the Peoria end. Jurisic shot, save, made the rebound, Hofstetter puts it home! It was sitting right there as if on a platter. Rashad Hofstetter, and it's 2-0 St. Louis. The 
the Junior Blues would skate to a 2-1 victory to sweep Peoria and give Jack Regan his first win with the team. Felt pretty good. Um, you know, all the boys are great. You know, a lot of support in the room, and uh, you know, coming out of that was with a win was very nice. We knew that we kind of super important. We're only a few uh, points behind Milwaukee, and uh, they got a couple games more played than us. But uh, yeah, we knew it was important, so we came out hard, played well, and uh, yeah, it went well. The sweep of Peoria caps off a long homestand for the team that started back in mid-November. The team gets ready to travel to Blaine, Minnesota for the NA3HL Showcase this upcoming week. You're picking a puck up in the neutral zone. When you get across the top of the circle, let's get shots from this area right here. All right. But despite being away from the friendly confines of Afton, the showcase provides a bit of a homecoming for forward Jack Moore. Well, the Super Rink is actually uh, my high school home arena, Rink 4 and the Super Rink. So it'll be nice getting back there. Seeing all the banners playing somewhere I'm very familiar with on big Olympic ice, which is nice and what I've been used to my whole life. So it'll be fun. Winners in nine of their last ten games, the Junior Blues look forward to continuing their winning ways in the state of hockey. We know we got a sweep, so we got four points. Um, Milwaukee, you know, dropped a game over the weekend, so that definitely gave us uh, a jump on them. And uh, we hope to get six points uh, this upcoming weekend in Blaine, and you know, we get a big lead on. Them. So every game is going to be a battle and a grind. And, we're going in with, with the attitude that we're going to bring our, bring our best hockey and, uh, like I said, get all six points. For me, I'm hoping to just play my game, just keep it simple, and uh, for the team, hope to get a uh, big six points that uh, needed in the standings. I expect us six points straight. It shouldn't it shouldn't be hard. It's something we could easily accomplish, especially with Milwaukee with the number one seed in our division playing those teams. will be We should have a easier road than normal and we better go in and tear it up and take six points.